Good morning and welcome to morning prayer on Wednesday the 23rd of December. This morning we'll be following the Church of England Common Worship Liturgy. So if you have the red book, uh, we start on page 198 or you can follow it by downloading and using the app. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and glory. Blessed are you, sovereign God of all, to you be praise and glory for ever. In your tender compassion, the dawn from on high is breaking upon us to dispel the lingering shadows of night as we look for your coming among us this day. Open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. And our psalm is Psalm 128. Blessed are all those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways, You shall eat the fruit of the toil of your hands. It shall go well with you, and happy shall you be. Your wife within your house shall be like a fruitful vine, your children round your table like fresh olive branches. Thus shall the one be blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord from out of Zion bless you that you may see Jerusalem in prosperity all the days of your life. May you see your children's children, and may there be peace upon Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Come all you who are thirsty, Come to the waters, and you who have no money, come, buy and eat. Come, buy wine and milk without money and without cost. Why spend money on what is not bread, and your labour on what does not satisfy? Listen, listen to me and eat what is good, and your soul will delight in the richest of fare. Give ear and come to me, hear me, that your soul may live. I will make an everlasting covenant with you, my faithful love promised to David. See, I have made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and commander of the peoples. Surely you will summon nations you know not, and nations that do not know you will hasten to you because of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, for he has endowed you with splendour. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the evil man his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord and he will have mercy on him and to our God, for he will freely pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. As the rain and the snow come down from heaven, and do not return to it without watering the earth and making it bud and flourish, so that it yields seeds for the sower and bread for the eater. So is my word that goes out from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, 
but will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which I sent it. You will go out in joy and be led forth in peace. The mountains and the hills will burst into song before you and all the trees of the field will clap their hands. Instead of the thorn bush will grow in the pine trees and instead of briars the myrtle will grow. This will be for the Lord's renown, for an everlasting sign, which will not be destroyed. As we come to the end of a challenging year and look forward to a different kind of Christmas, this morning's reading is a wonderful reminder of God's gracious offer of peace pardon and love for us all and that offer is free and everlasting it doesn't matter who we are or where we come from it doesn't matter what wealth we have or don't have god's offer is for every single one of us in this passage we're invited to eat and drink to listen and live to experience an everlasting covenant and steadfast love to be glorified, to find the Lord and to receive God's mercy. These offers come from, not from a God who wants to exploit us, but one who wants to save us and one who keeps his promises. These offers come from a God who waits patiently and hopefully for us to turn to him and accept them. In the troubled world in which we find ourselves at present, what comfort and hope there is to be found in such a God. Like the sun in the morning sky, the saviour of the world will dawn. Like rain upon the meadows, the Christ will come down upon us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare the way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Like the sun in the morning sky, the saviour of the world will dawn. Like rain upon the meadows, the Christ will come down upon us. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, Thank you for the precious invitation that was open to Israel to come and drink of the waters of life freely and without cost. And that invitation is still open to our thirsty souls. Thank you that the offer is still open to whosoever believes in the salvation offered by Jesus Christ, whoever we are or where we come from. Thank you, in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we pray for those who this Christmas will be difficult, for people disappointed by changed plans, for people who will be spending Christmas alone, for people who have lost loved ones to the coronavirus, the physically and mentally unwell, and people who have lost incomes. Help them to find comfort and hope through you. O Emmanuel, our King and our Lawgiver, 
the hope of the nations and their saviour. Come and save us, O Lord our God. And as our saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.